looking in the video, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the bell to select all so you don't miss any of our videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and tell your friends and family about us too. It's the only way we can grow and that YouTube knows you're enjoying our videos. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok as well for extra content and behind the scenes footage. Let's get into the video. Okay, so coop building is coming along. We've just built all the walls, so we've got it three feet high and then plus the two by four on the top and the bottom at the back. And then the front part here is gonna be four feet plus the two by fours at the top and bottom. So we've built out our frames first because we have a nice flat surface to work on. It makes it so much easier. What do you mean? It's off. Well, it's because you guys did it at that end. We can't do anything about that. What's wrong? Quarter what? inch. It'll be fine. There are eight big sections. We can't do anything That's why I was, I was saying, we. Sh I said to start this part down here and do that second, but you guys put that one up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's the plan here? Yeah, turn that goes at the top. Yeah. Hit those in one. I go around That's here in one fine. Hit. So, listen, we're which doing way does fine. this go? You're just getting which, argumentative. Which way does this go? You gotta push this corner up here. If you could push this in. Right, we just got more hay delivered. The hay elevator was broken, so we couldn't get help from the guy delivering it, because he normally does, which is amazing. So now we gotta go get all of this up into the barn. <laughs> I hate hay. It's probably the thing I hate the most about <laughs> living in the country on your own farm is the hay, <laughs> like having to get it up. I have back problems and chronic pain problems and so does my mom. <laughs> but we need to do this and get it up so Scott can take it into the hayloft and Kate is at school, Julia is at school, Kate just got a job, her very first job, and so she has her first shift tonight so now we gotta do this. <laughs> And we're already sore from building the coop and everything, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Right there, see it? 
Behind the box. No, you? no, all of that's perfect. It's perfectly lined up this way. It's got to come it out looks, this way. Like further back, you mean? Which is exactly where I had it in the first place. Ugh. I feel like I'm going to move it back and then realize I'm missing something here. Hold on, I'll just get down. But I don't think I am. Yeah, just come and see, but I'm pretty sure I gotta move it all the way back. It's in the perfect spot this way though. Wait a second, but that doesn't make sense. We measured that side and we measured this side. Really what we should be doing is measuring the diagonals to make sure it's square. So that would mean it needs to shift. I don't even remember now. It has been, we had a break for like two days while we went back and forth about these nesting boxes. We went from deciding they were gonna be at the end to over here, to single layer, to double layer, to roll out nest, back to the original. Anyway, we just decided it was getting way too complicated and to just go back to because this was going to be our door now we've moved our one door over here because Scott can reach to clean and then that way we can just have a single row the reason we had to keep changing it was because one person Scott wanted the roof opening Julia came home from school and was like no that's too hard for me and she wanted it down low but when we were doing the double layer of nesting boxes it's a little too high for Julia and I to reach in and see on the upper layer so anyway back to this so now we've got a base built here we put plywood that we had scrap left over pressure treated then we have a place where we can get free insulation the foam board stuff so we actually put that inside sandwiched in between these two plywood pieces so that in the winter it's going to keep them warm in here in the summer hopefully it helps keep it a little bit cooler for the chickens and for the eggs we collect our eggs every single day and we have a look kind of morning and night but in the hot hot days or the cold cold days here then they still get cold or warm so this will hopefully help with that we're now just putting brace pieces here so we can attach the top part and then still have something to attach our wall boards because it's a uh, rough cut either 10 inch or 12 inch whatever they've got available it'll be rough cut pine that is going on here that we then strip a board to go like board and batten sort of how we did with this coop and to match the style of our barn as well. All right, Scott and our friend came over this morning. Scott and him got the steel roof up of it. So I don't know if you can see, but we've got the roof. So my mom and I did all the braces and all the framing and then they came and popped the metal on for us because we didn't want to climb up there. So it's coming along. So this is hard to see in here, but it is gonna be 16 feet and then it's four feet wide. We're gonna have lots of roost bar space for them. And then ducks are going down below. And they're gonna have a nice sheltered spot because we are starting to get a hawk that's coming around. We haven't had a problem with this before, but it is coming around a little more frequently. Bear, I don't know that bear knows to because our guineas fly and we've trained him not to attack birds. I just, I worry that he doesn't know to keep a hawk away. But anyway, so this is how it's going. <laughs> In the meantime, we've had to catch horses, not ours, other people's. We rescued a bunny. Then I had to take a break to go to the vet and bring the bunny there to get checked out. It is a little girl, by the way. So her name is 
Pepper now. She has her appointment to go get spayed. The vet wants her to be able to settle down because she had a bit of a traumatic experience getting dumped on the side of the road and then she was, it took us about eight hours to catch her out there. So she was out for the day on a busy road. So it was very scary for her. She was very shy, but she's really settling in well. So now we are back to coop building. It's snowing today. I don't know. It's going longer than we thought, but we still need to get a goat barn built. <laughs> All right, we're getting back to this. I don't even think you can see this, but it's... <laughs> All of a sudden just started snowing so hard. All right. So Scott's working on moving some stuff around with the tractor. My mom and I are doing the coop. Girls are riding. Kay was working earlier with Luna training her and Julia's gonna go ride Flora. I know how you move this. <laughs> Is it this? No, cause that moves this. that moves this. Oh yeah, it's this right here. This. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 